What's up gamers, it's me, NobleZen, back here again in another video, and today we got a massive update for Halo Infinite. We got a new operation, a new rank season, new maps, new game mode, a new gun. We got everything you could ever ask for, so let's hop into it, let's talk about it all. Alright, let's get into this thing. We're going to start with the boring stuff first, because it'll be quickest, and who really cares? First off, it's Operation Pass, we got a new one, the armor in it, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, for $5, you get the Halo 2 sniper, but for the free armor, it's the Shipmaster armor from Halo 2, I think it looks pretty dope, personally. After that, we got an exchange refresh. Actually, just a lot of cool stuff in the exchange refresh. We finally got Scorpion Punch, my favorite coding in the fucking game. We finally got that. We got a new like Master Chief helmet. We got a bunch of bunch of little cool things in there. So something to burn your Spartan points on. Uh, following that, there's the store update. We got the Halo 2 armor. We got the Helio Scroll armor and then the Halo 2 Marines armor. It's all incredibly expensive, but it's your money, dude. Burn it how you want. If you think it looks cool, Helio Scroll does look really cool in my opinion. But that's all the boring stuff. Now we can actually hop into the cool stuff of the update. All right, now for the actual meat and potatoes update. We got new guns, new weapons, new maps, new game types, a whole bunch of crap. So we're going to start with the new weapon. We got the MA5 Kilo Avenger. I'm just going to call it the Avenger because that name is way too long. It's a UNSC SMG as a 60 round magazine. It takes 18 bullets to break shields, 22 bullets for the perfect kill. So you could get two perfect kills. Per magazine, if you throw in some melees, you can get three kills easily. But pretty cool. Excited to see how that plays out in the sandbox. Uh, following that, we got two new social playlists. We got third person firefight. It's firefight and third person. It's pretty fun. I haven't messed with it too much. I did like one quick match just to check it out. But I'm uh, I'm gonna play some more tonight for sure, just to mess around with it. It's pretty fun. It plays relatively well for being third person and a first person shooter. So can't complain too much about that. Next up is the actual like big new playlist. It's called Delta Arena. It's a Halo 2 inspired playlist. So there's no sprint, no clamber, increased jump height, and the friendly player collision is on. AKA right now, if you hop into ranked, if this is me and this is you, we'll run through each other and that playlist, you hit each other. There's no more uh, phasing through your teammates in that playlist. Uh, with that, the starting weapons will be the new MA5 Kilo Avenger, and your secondary is the Bandit Evo. We also got a fuck ton of new Halo 2 maps reimagined halo 2 maps they're all forge maps so they're so pretty cool we got ascension which believe it or in a remake believe it or not is a remake of ascension we got a uh, boulevard which is a turf remake canopy a lockout remake conjure a warlock remake inquisitor 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 that sounds right midship remake serenity is the sanctuary remake and then beaver canyon is the beaver creek remake so all those maps will be in that delta arena playlist hopefully they'll also move over to just normal social playlists eventually but ascension and sanctuary two of my favorite maps of all time i'm very excited to have those back in the game plus everybody loves midship can't complain with a midship remake uh going off from there that's all the social stuff next up is the new ranked season that is a new ranked season so all your ranks reset you gotta redo your five placement matches in every single playlist uh, rank tactical has got rotated out for rank snipers. So right now we got ranked slayer, ranked arena, ranked doubles, rank snipers up. We also are getting two new ranked maps. We're getting Inquisitor, which is that midship remake I was talking about earlier, and we're getting Fortress, which is a brand new map, straight up. It's not remake anything, just a new map. They both play CTF. They both play Slayer. I'm pretty confident they're both in snipers and will both be in SWAT as well. So we get to see those a lot. Uh, for those of you who missed it, never played midship. Maybe this is your first Halo. I do have a midship guide. It's called Inquisitor now, so I named it Inquisitor Guide, but it'll be out today, probably at the exact same time this video is out. So if you need the callouts, watch that. I also have one for Fortress coming out today, slightly after this video. But going on from there, uh, we also got a swipe, slight balancing update today. The Commando, uh, it's maximum spread. You'll hit its maximum spread faster, aka the little bloom on the reticle. It'll go to the biggest reticle quicklier. And then the same thing for the pistol. It'll hit its max spread faster when you're spamming the trigger. The bloom will just hit the max size quicker. That's it for the weapons for the equipment. The camouflage got kind of a weird change. Now, when you're camo and you pick up the flag, the flag will no longer be invisible, just you. So it'll just look like a flag running itself. So slight nerf to camo right there if you're running flag. Other than that, camo stays exactly the same. Uh, and then the thruster, now it briefly disables your weapon after you use it, so you can't instantly shot out of your thrust. It's I couldn't get the timing down. I'm not smart enough for that, but it's, it's not anything insane it's not like it disables your weapon forever right it's a, it's enough to notice but i don't know if it's enough to really be a game changer all that much but still that's the that's the balancing updates but that's everything i want to try and keep the video as short as possible just give you guys all the information like i said uh, i will have inquisitor and fortress map guides up today 
I also will be live today, just grinding out the game, having fun. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like, hit that subscribe button. I'm live almost every single day, so I'd love to have you stop by. Hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll catch you all next time.